So today, we gather in sadness, yes, but also in joy and in gratitude for the life and achievements of an extraordinary individual who has touched the lives of countless people, Bob Pike, throughout the world, and many of them are on this Zoom. A beacon of inspiration and wisdom stands among us as we celebrate his legacy while he's still with us. Well, how are you? Hey, Bob, what a great idea this is. Uh, I thought I was creative. I, I wrote an eulogy for my own funeral and, and had it videotaped to be shown at my funeral. But this is a lot better, having a party before you even leave. So I'm going to steal this idea, just like I did a lot of other good ideas that you had. And I pray going forward that you will realize what an amazing place you're headed to. And I hope you'll whisper in my ear what it's like so I have a sense of what I'm <laughs> heading towards. So God bless, Bob. I love you. And all these people here are here because they love and admire you. God bless. It's okay now. <clears throat> I attended his national conference the next year, and I got up the courage and muster to walk up to him in front of 600 people and say, Bob, I want to be a national speaker, but I'm afraid of speaking. Can you help me? <laughs> He, he rattled off five things. Get a master's degree, teach a college course, go to Toastmasters, get a mentor, and join NSA. What's NSA? <laughs> the, the National Speakers Association. And in fact, this weekend, the Georgia Speakers Association is gonna have a meeting and the national president, Glenna Salisbury, will be there. What a mentor. What a mentor. What a friend. In 2000, when my dad was killed in a car accident, Bob was the first person I called after my sister. And I was sobbing on the phone and out of town and alone and Bob prayed with me. And I said, I'm supposed to be at Eli Lilly tomorrow to present. And he said, I'll hop on a plane and go for you. Then 2008, I had emergency surgery. Bob calls again. He prays again. And again, I say, I'm supposed to speak in Istanbul, Turkey this week. He dropped everything, got on a plane. And I told him, but they're doing a book signing. They've got hundreds of my shattered dead books with Lenny and everything. He said, I'll handle it. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wrench like me mm, i once was lost but now i'm found was blind but now i see 